Hi, this is Robert Chen with Thorn Technologies, and I'm going to show you how to deploy SFTP Gateway from the Azure Marketplace. From the Azure Marketplace, search for SFTP Gateway, and the offer should show up in the search suggestions. And then on the left, click Get It Now. You're going to see a modal window which tells you which version of SFTP Gateway you're launching. In this case, it's 2.1.1 and it might ask you for some contact information. Otherwise, click Continue. This should take you from the Azure Marketplace to the Azure Portal. Click Create, and you'll be taken to the Create a Virtual Machine Wizard. Here on the Basics tab, I'm going to create a new resource group called SFTP GW Demo. I'm going to call the virtual machine name the same thing, and then set my region. For the size, this is just a demo, so I'm going to use a B1MS. For the administrator account, I'm going to use CentOS, and then paste in my SSH public key. And then for inbound port rules, I'm going to set this to none. So in order to SSH into this VM, I need to create some inbound rules for myself in the network security group. So click on the networking tab, and then under network security group, click on advanced and create new. Click on the existing inbound rules to edit it. Under source, change this to IP addresses, and then under source IP addresses, Type in your public IP, followed by a slash 32. And then under destination port ranges, add port 80 and 443, separated by commas. And this will allow you to access the web admin UI later on. And then for priority, change this to a different number. And then click Save. Click OK. And we're done with all of our configuration. So click Review and Create. Once it's done validating, click Create. While this is creating, I'm going to walk you through creating a storage account. So under Storage Accounts, click Add. And I'm going to create a new resource group called SFTP GW Demo Storage Account. For the storage account name, I'm going to use the same name, but without the hyphens. And then I'm going to change the region real quick. For account kind, I'm going to set this to blob storage. And for replication, I'm going to set it to the cheaper locally redundant storage option. Finally, click review and create. Once it's done validating, click create. After it's done deploying, click on Go to Resource. Toward the left, I'm going to click on Access Keys. And I'm going to leave this page open for the time being. By now, my VM should be done deploying. And now I can start configuring SFTP Gateway. On the Overview page, copy the public IP address and then paste it in your browser. You should see a landing page that looks like this. Click on this first link and it will redirect you to HTTPS. Since we're using a self-signed SSL cert, you're going to have to bypass the SSL warnings. Click Advanced and then Proceed. The first time you run SFTP Gateway, you're going to see this modal window, which tells you where to find the admin password and how to reset the admin password. I'm going to click the close button, and then I'm going to SSH into the VM to reset this admin password. Within terminal, I'm going to SSH, 
using my private key and I'm going to connect as the administrator user at the VM's public IP. Since this is my first time connecting, I'm going to say yes to the server's host key. And then I'm going to run the command we saw earlier to reset the admin password. Now that I've set the admin password, I could log into the web admin UI. Now, before I create any users, the first thing I want to do is connect to my blob storage account. So go to settings and under Azure storage name, enter in your storage account name. And then for Azure storage key, paste in one of your access keys. And then click apply. Now I could finally create an SFTP user. So under users, click create user, type in a username, and then click save. Your web browser should download a private key, which you'll need to connect over SFTP. So here in FileZilla, I set the protocol to SFTP. For the host, I pasted it in the public IP address. And then for logon, I'm going to set this to key file. And then I'm going to look for the private key that I downloaded earlier. And then when I click connect, I'll be prompted with the server host key again. And then I should see the default folders, uploads, and local. For this demo, I'm going to upload a test file. I should see that the test file uploaded successfully, but if I refresh, the test file should disappear. And the reason for this is because files that you drop into the uploads directory, they get moved to blob storage and then deleted off the server. So if I go to my storage account, and go to containers, SFTP gateway demo, and under my username, there should be an uploads directory that contains the test file. Thanks for watching. If any issues come up along the way, you could check out our help documentation at help.thorntech.com. Or you could contact us via the support form or you can email us directly at azure-support at thorntech.com.